Hello friends, this is Brother Carlos here. Never ever again say I don't have money, nor say I can't afford to buy this, nor I can't afford to buy that. Why? Jesus spoke to his disciples in John chapter 8 and he said to them, the words that I speak to you are life and they are spirit. Okay. Also Proverbs 18, 21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. So in other words, when you speak something, you are creating something, whether positive or negative. Okay. Depending on what you speak, those very things that you are speaking about will either work for you or against you. Okay. Now, instead of saying, I don't have money, you can say it's coming in a couple of days. It's coming. Okay. So instead of saying, I can't afford this, you can say instead, well, you know, I'm going to get it sooner rather than later. I'm getting it. Okay. If it's something that you really need, you may not need it. Right. You know, there's a difference between something that you need and something that you want. Okay. So in other words, uh, there was a situation that Jesus Christ faced. Okay. Peter came to him and said, Master, uh, the rulers of the temple were asking me, why is that that your master does not pay tax? So then Jesus said, Peter, let's not be an offense to them. Go to the lake, throw a line, catch a fish, open its mouth. There's a coin there. Take that coin, go pay your tax and my tax. So in other words, apparently Jesus did not have money on him. Otherwise, he would have given to Peter. But instead, he said, Peter, go to the lake. He never said, I don't have money, okay? Because he knew that he had the ability to call money into existence. He had the ability, okay, to make money appear out of thin air. That's exactly what he did, okay? So by using his word, he called money into existence. So then Peter caught, you know, got the money, went and paid the taxes, right? So in other words, friends, okay, be very careful with what you're speaking, okay? Remember, there's power in your words. The words that you speak, there's power, okay? So that's why avoid that you speak negatively about anything. Always be positive, okay? Now, if you're watching this video until this very moment, I'm going to help you to call money into existence as well, right? So... Chances are you are in our website right now, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you to do something. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Shall men put onto your bosom, for with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. Now, I'm going to help you to start seeing money coming your way. Even if it's going to be just a little bit of money to start, okay? So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to encourage you, okay, if you would like, you don't have to do anything. It's not, you're not under obligation to do anything. But if you like to make, to, to, to sow a seed of $10 below this video in the, you know, in the donate button that you see there, okay, if you make a $10 donation, then this is what I'm going to do for you, okay? S make a donation and then the email below that, you need to write me an email, okay, saying that you made a donation. If you can forward to me the receipt, that will be even better. Okay. And then I need to know your name. And also I need to know your email for PayPal. Okay. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this page right here with this video in it. Okay. The only difference is going to be it's you're going to have your own PayPal donation button right there. Okay. And that when, when people donate, that donation is going to be going to you not to us, okay? All you have to do, this page will be created for you in a few hours, okay? And there will be no monthly fee, nothing, okay? We'll host everything for you. This is just an opportunity for you to start calling something into existence, okay? And plus, by doing that, by sharing this web page that you're going to get on social media, you have a chance to also receive donations, okay? But the most important thing is you're going to be helping other people to do the same. You're going to be helping other people to understand this principle of calling money into existence. Well, this is not going to be the only way you're going to be calling money into existence. This is just one way. But there will be more, more ideas coming your way that you can implement, right? So uh, if you want to start a business, for example, 
You gotta ask yourself a couple of questions. Is there a need for this service that I wanna offer? Is there a need for this product that I wanna offer? If there's a need, then there's a demand. Okay, then you can meet the demand. All you need is give some thought about, get some training about it, you know, become expert, you know, about what you want to do, and then it's going to help. It's going to happen, right? Now, competition. There will always be competition out there. Now, competition should be always a motivation for you to do more than what others are doing. That's what it is. Don't see competition as something negative. On the contrary, see it as something positive, okay? Because now you can do more than what the other guys are doing, right? You're being forced to do more. That's positive, amen? So do that. Make a donation of $10 below. There will be a page like this one created for you in a few hours and will be emailed to you. After you make the donation, send us an email saying that you made a donation and now you want your page. Take this page, the website address, share it on Facebook, share it on other places where you want to share it. As people find this and watch this video, chances are they're going to do the same. And if they do the same, they're going to make the donation right into you. You're going to be the one getting the donation, okay? I'm just helping you to start calling money into existence. God bless you now and have a good day. Bye now.